Hello! Today I will be installing high performance bokeh bearings into two different Sato engine crankcases. The first will be a Sato FA100 and the other will be a Sato FA125. Now since I've got two different engines, I figured I'd use two different sets of techniques just to show a slight variation how these bearings can be installed. So, without any further delay, let's get right down to it. Okay, so on the table here I've got the crankcases, crankshaft, and old bearings, and the new set of high-performance Boken bearings. Now I will list the kit numbers for each of these sets in the video description, as well as on the screen as I do each bearing or each uh, engine individually. But before I show you the tools I'm going to be using and the techniques. I just wanted to take a few minutes to show the difference. It just so happened that I happen to have a customer that sent me his FA100 and 125 engine and because they're such similar displacement I didn't expect any major differences. I mean if you look at these crankcases they look almost exactly the same. However when I pulled the bearings out of them I discovered that the bearings are vastly different in size. This is the bearing, the main bearing for the 125 and this is the main bearing for the 100. And Look at the huge difference here. I really just did not expect that because you couldn't really tell that from the crankcase size themselves because the crankcases looked almost identical in size from external, external appearance. Now even the front bearings considerably different. So this was just something that I thought was interesting and rather surprising. So on the table here also I've got my standard bench vise which I'll use to do the installation of one set of bearings, a piece of wood, my ball peen hammer, my heat gun, and a heat resistant glove. The other engine I will be using an arbor press and the, basically the only reason I'm doing that is because I've got two engines and I've got two different means to do install bearings and I thought it'd be interesting just to see the different tools that you can use if you have available to install bearings and engines. So with that I'm going to select one of these engines to use these tools on and go ahead and install some bearings. Okay so I've got the Sato FA100 crankcase and crankshaft here and I have the set of Boca bearings, which is part number ENK-002HP. Now the first thing I'm going to do is take these bearings out of the package and prep them with a little bit of road power. Boca bearing road power lubrication here, just to prep the outside surface of, the, of these, not the internals. The internals do not need to be prepped. Now both of these sets of bearings are rubber sealed and I believe that I want to remove the seals on this main bearing. Okay so I've got a pick here. So traditionally the main crankshaft bearing on aircraft RC glow engines is typically an open shielded bearing. This one happens to be a rubber shielded bearing. So to maintain the integrity of the design, I'm going to remove this shield on each side and install this open shield just as it was from the factory. So I'm just using a pick to just lightly get underneath that shield and once I get under there I just kind of rotate it around there. Now these bearings are greased internally and it looks like this one is a completely open area here and it's nicely greased inside. And this one has just a small plastic retainer. So I'm going to leave that just as it is. So I'm going to install this bearing onto the crankshaft just like that once I get these prepped. So I'm just going to put a little squirt of this lightning lube road power in the corner of this clean container and just lightly run this over the outside surfaces of both of these bearings. and the crankshaft areas where these bearings are going to reside. Now 
I'm going to do the same thing with the crankcase too. Okay, so now that these things are prepped and ready to go, move that out of the way. And I always install the front bearing first. Just because it's easier to install the crankshaft, the main crankshaft into the or the bearing into the crankcase once it's installed on the crankshaft itself. So now I've got that bearing installed and that always gives me a good centering mechanism. So this is ready to go. Let me get my heat glove on. We'll heat this case up just very lightly. It doesn't have to be really hot. Just enough to give it a little bit of thermal expansion, the aluminum a little bit of thermal expansion, just to facilitate ease of installation of the bearing. front bearing is installed. Now the next thing I'm going to do is again heat the case up maybe a little bit more so this time and install this into the crankcase like this and use a little bit of a drive mechanism to drive that one in place. Okay so let me heat this crankcase up a bit Shaft into place here. Place it in the vise. And we will just use our extension, socket extension, as a drive mechanism for this. And fully seat that bearing. So the installation of these high performance bearings into the Sato FA100 crankcase is complete now. Okay, so for the Sato FA125 crankcase bearing installation, I'm going to be using my Harbor Freight Arbor Press here. Now as before, I've got my container here with a little bit of that road power Boca road power lube so I can lubricate these bearings. Now this front bearing is a rubber shielded bearing which is standard for just about every engine. This one came with just a plastic shield and an open shield on it and the part number on this kit is ENK083HP. I'm going to be putting this lubrication on the outside edges of those bearings and the front part of this crankshaft also and as I usually always do I'll go ahead and install this bearing on the crankshaft first so 
and then it's ready to go. Now I installed this with the plastic shield facing forward and the open end facing rearward. That plastic shield is really not impinging or impeding the flow of oil in any way, shape, or form, so it really doesn't matter in that instance. So I'm going to go ahead and put my heat glove on here and get this crankcase heated up for, oops, I think I forgot to lubricate the internals of the crankcase first. Let me do that. There we go. Get these all nice and lubed up and ready to accept these bearings. Now we can heat this up. Feels like maybe that could take a little bit more heat. get this position on here as straight as possible. There we go, that looks good. Get this lined up. installed. Now obviously I don't have my, I'm on my kitchen counter so I don't have my uh, Harbor Freight press bolted down to anything. Now I'm going to heat up this main journal bearing area. drive in place. And press that bearing into place. And now that bearing is in place. Okay, that completes the installation of the bearings in both of these engines. This is the Sato FA125 engine crankcase and here's the 100 and so now my customer's got a new set of Boca high performance bearings in both of his engines so thank you for watching